All right, well give these guys a big round of applause because they are going to be the stars of your show. And it's a good looking group for sure. Thank you all for coming up. Like I said, I'm not going to keep all of you, but here's how it's gonna work. If at any point you decide you no longer want to be up here, don't just go bolting back into the audience because I want to make sure that you're out of hypnosis first. If you decide you don't want to be up here, sit up in your chair, look at me, I'll get the hint, I've done this before. All right? The other part of it is, have fun with this, guys. Like I said, I'll take good care of you. I'm not going to embarrass anybody. I won't let you embarrass yourselves. So you don't have to worry about that. All right? Anybody scared? Yeah, a little bit? Don't be scared because, like I said, you're going to be aware of everything the whole time. So that's, you know, that's one place where people get a little bit confused about hypnosis. They think that you've got to be like unconscious or, or not being aware of what's going on around you. Nonsense. Just like when I had to raise your hands or the circle on your cheek, you are aware the entire time what was going on around you and still, still you were hypnotized. So you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. All right? Cool. This next part is called the induction. This is where I get these guys into hypnosis. This is the only part of the show that you guys have got to be relatively quiet for. And especially, don't call anybody out by name. If Sally's up here slumping over onto the person next to her and she's looking kind of comical, don't holler out, hey Sally, you're looking good up there because we're going to lose Sally if you do that. And Sally might have been the star of the show. So, anybody named Sally? Anybody want to be named Sally? <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll work on that. Um, so anyway, this first part is the only part we have to be relatively quiet. After that, I'm going to, when I get them where, where I want them in their minds, I'm going to call for a big round of applause like this. And that's when you'll know that you no longer have to be quiet. Okay? I'm going to stop access to that door now. So if people would mind not going through that door back and forth, that would be wonderful. Um, Otherwise, I'm ready to rock and roll. Are you guys ready? Sure. Yep. Sit up straight in your chairs. Feet flat on the floor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my stage. <laughs> oh, I should just lean back in your chair. You can swing your feet all you want. That's fine. There's always somebody. There's always somebody. That's fine. Um, so, yeah, sit up straight, feet flat on the floor, hands on your thighs, not your neighbor's thighs. Good job. You guys are good at this already. And then I want you to go ahead and look right above you. I want you to find a little tiny spot on the ceiling. And I want you to focus on that spot. Straight up if you can. I want you to focus on that spot. I want you to stare at it. I don't want you to look anyplace else. I want you to focus on that spot. I want you to notice the size of that spot. I want you to notice the shape. The color. I want you to notice any details that you possibly can about that spot. Focus on that. And then while you're doing that, I want you to focus on your breathing as well. I want you to think the word relax, relax every time you breathe in. And deeper, deeper every time you breathe out. I want you to find that you relax a little bit more, a little bit more every single time you breathe out. And I want you to realize that that feels good. I'll have you take a good deep breath in. Hold it for just a second. As you exhale, begin to relax. Continue focusing on your breathing. Relax, relax when you breathe in. And deeper, deeper every time you breathe out. Just let that feel good. I'll have you take another good deep breath in. Hold it for just a second or two. As you exhale this time, close your eyes. Close your eyes down, keep your eyes closed until I ask you to open them. Keeping your eyes closed will help you focus and concentrate. Continue to focus on that breathing. But I also want you to start using your imaginations a little bit more. I want you to imagine that right above your head is a little tiny cloud. That little tiny cloud is made up of 100% pure relaxation. And that cloud is going to settle on to the top of your head right now. As it does, you're going to notice those little tiny muscles up in your scalp are going to start to relax. Let that relaxation feel good. And then let that relaxation move down into your forehead. Let those muscles relax. Feel the relaxation moving down into your eyebrows. 
Let it move down your face into your muscles around your eyes, muscles around your nose, around your mouth. Let your cheek muscles relax, let your jaw muscles relax. Just let it feel good to relax. Deeper, deeper, and deeper. Now let that relaxation move down into your neck muscles. Those neck muscles begin to relax. As they do, let your head drop gently toward your chest. Let your head drop gently toward your chest now. Let your head drop gently toward your chest now. That will feel good. The person I'm touching now, just gently toward your chest. Let your head drop. There you go. Feel the relaxation moving into your shoulders. Let it feel good. We carry an awful lot of stress and tension in our shoulders. Let it fade out and away. Feel it moving into your upper arms, down through your elbows into your lower arms. Feel it moving down into your hands and fingers. Just let it feel good to relax. Deeper, deeper, and deeper relaxed. Feel it moving into your back, all up and down your back muscles. Those muscles just relax. Keeping just enough tension to keep you upright in your chair. Then feel it moving around into your chest. Let those muscles relax. Feel your stomach relaxing. Notice how easy and natural your breathing has become. Feel it moving down through your waist into your hips, into your thighs, your lower legs, into your feet, and all the way to the tips of your toes. I want you to do a quick inventory of your body and see if there's any place that still holds any stress or tension. And if there is, I want you to let that stress and tension fade out and away from you. Folks, when I count to three, but not before, but when I count to three, I want you to have your eyes open looking directly at me and nowhere else. Everybody, one, two, three, eyes open. Folks, I want you to hold your hands out like this. Turn your left palm up. Take a good deep breath in, hold it for just a second or two. And as you exhale, close your eyes down, keep your hands in that position. Close your eyes down again, keep them closed until I ask you to open them up again. When I ask you to start using your imaginations even more, I want you to imagine on that left hand, the hand that's up, that I'm placing a big bouquet. No, I take that back. On that left hand that's up, I'm placing a heavy book. A very heavy book, and that heavy book starts to weigh that left hand down. You can feel that weight. Folks, use your imagination. You know what that difference feels like. Feel the weight. But on that right wrist, imagine that I'm tying a big bouquet of helium balloons to that right wrist. And that right wrist is getting lighter and lighter and going higher and higher. And the left hand is getting heavier and heavier, going lower and lower. I want you to imagine that I'm going to come around and I'm going to place a heavier book on your hand. So every time I touch your left hand, it gets heavier, harder and harder to hold up. Feel it getting heavier, 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 heavier. That right hand still gets lighter and lighter. It goes higher and higher. The left hand gets heavier, 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 and heavier. The left hand heavier, heavier, heavier. Right hand still gets lighter and higher and higher and higher. Now I'm going to come around and take both of your hands. As I do, let me do all the work. But I want you to relax a thousand times more than you already are. Now if I do decide to go ahead and release you back into the audience, I want you to just get up quietly and go. Don't use your imaginations, folks.
folks, I want you to do a big, quick inventory, keeping your eyes closed. Do a quick inventory. Any place that still holds any stress or tension, let it fade out and away. Do that now. And then I want you to take stock and notice that this deeply relaxed state of mind and body, every single time that I say the word sleep from here on out, I want you to return to this deeply relaxed state of mind and body instantly. Every time I say sleep. Nod your heads if you understand. Perfect. Folks, as we go through this experience, you will hear sounds. You'll hear sounds of me moving around and talking. You'll hear people in the audience laughing, clapping, cheering. You'll hear people next to you. I want you to be aware that anytime you hear sounds, no matter what those sounds are, those sounds will help you relax even more than you already are. For example, when the audience gives you a big round of applause, <laughs> notice how good that feels just to relax. Deeper, deeper, deeper relaxed. Deeper, deeper, deeper relaxed. Let it feel good. Folks, I'm going to keep asking you to ramp up those imaginations. So I want you to keep your eyes closed, but I want you to sit up in your, straight in your chairs now. Keep your eyes closed, sit up straight. I want you to imagine that we're going to take a little bit of a trip. We're going to take a trip on an airplane. So go ahead, folks. Keep your eyes closed. Find your seat in the airplane. Have a seat. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare for takeoff. Make sure your tray tables are upright and locked. Do that now. Make sure your seat backs are upright and locked. Do that now. And then fasten your seat belts. All right. The plane pulls away from the gate and begins taxiing down the runway. As it does, it goes faster and faster. And those big jet engines push you back in your chairs, going faster and faster, pushing you back more and more. Those big, powerful engines pushing you back, pushing you back, until all of a sudden, ah, oh, we are airborne. Life is good. It's going to be a great day for a flight, you guys. There's not a cloud in the sky. There won't be any turbulence. The cabin temperature is a perfect 70 degrees. So go ahead, kick back in your chairs, you guys, and relax. Enjoy the rest of the flight. Kick back and relax. As we're cruising along, I want you to realize that it is a nice flight. We're up to 33,000 cruising feet of altitude. And it's perfect. Except now the cabin is 75 degrees. It's getting a little bit warmer in there. Not bad, but you know those seats are so doggone small and crowded and cramped. Now it's up to 80. It's actually starting to get hot. 85 degrees. It's getting really hot. 90 degrees. The thermostat is stuck. Clothes have to stay out of the plane. 95. It's hot. It's really hot. Fan yourselves. Fan yourselves. Use both hands if you have to. Fan yourselves. 100 degrees. Fan yourselves. Faster, 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 faster. That helps. That helps. Okay, they fixed it. We're back down to 70. We're back down to 70. Life is good. Back down to 70. And now it's down to 65. Not bad. I mean, it was just 100 degrees, so 65 actually still feels pretty good, but now it's 60. It's getting a little cool in there. 50 degrees, and you didn't bring a jacket. It's getting cold. 40 degrees. It's like sitting in a refrigerator. 30 degrees. Rub your hands together. Generate some body heat. The thermostat is stuck the other way. 25 degrees. Rub your hands together faster, 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 faster. Generate some body heat. All right, all right, that helps, that helps. Okay, we're back up to 70. They got it fixed. Thank goodness. We got it fixed. Life is good. Go ahead and kick back and relax. I think we're going to be fine the rest of the trip. They got it fixed. But as we get closer to our destination airport, the plane, of course, gets a little bit lower. As it does, you can lean over and look out that window and you can start seeing some detail on the ground. Keep your eyes closed. Use your mind's eye to look out that window. You can fly along, you can see those cities and towns down there. As you get a little bit lower, you can see the square farm fields. A little bit lower, you can make out the individual buildings in those cities and towns. Get just a little bit lower, you can see the cars and the trucks on the highway. A little bit lower, you can see the horses and the cows out in the pasture. As you get just a little bit lower, you can start making out people down there. That's pretty cool, huh? Check that out. Look at that. And now we're going over a resort. Watch those people down there. They're playing volleyball. A lot of bouncing around. Check it out. That looks like fun, doesn't it? Yeah. A lot of bouncing. A lot of bouncing around. Bump set spike. 
As we get just a little bit lower, you can make out the fact that this is a nudist resort. That would explain some of that housing. As we get just a little bit lower, I want you to make out the fact that this is a senior citizen's nudist resort. And that would explain the rest of the bouncing. All right, we've got to have fun too, you guys. But we're past the resort. Don't worry about it. We're past the resort. We get to our destination airport, and everybody sleep. Sleep. Deeper and deeper relax. Let it feel good. Give another big round of applause. We're doing a good job for you guys. All right. We're not done with our trip quite yet. Oh, let me interrupt that for just a minute. Everybody just stay where you are. Keep relaxing. I want to talk to the people in the audience for just a moment. When I came out here, I said my name was Randy Buecher. I'm the Dreamweaver comedy hypnotist. I have no illusions that you're going to remember Randy Buecher. But I do want you to remember Dreamweaver. And I'm going to have the people behind me help you remember Dreamweaver. So this is for everybody up on stage with me. I want you to realize that from here on out, every single time that I say Dreamweaver, I want you to realize that you're getting a wedgie. Now, it's not going to be a bad one that you have to pick out. This is just going to be one of those annoying ones. If you squirm just right, you could probably get it to clear itself. That's every time I say Dreamweaver. Nod your head if you understand. Sleep, sleep, sleep. So, for those folks in the audience, I do, even at my advanced age, have a Facebook page. I would love it if you'd swing by. Click that little like button, you can leave me a message, let me know how you like the show. If you didn't like it, go ahead and lie, I'm okay with that too. But to find me on Facebook, just search for Dreamweaver. Just search for Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver. I'm easy to find. Sleep, everybody sleep. Deep breathing, you can relax. If you get bored, I have a YouTube channel. You can always go and check out some of my videos. I do all kinds of different events. I do high schools, I do colleges, I do family festivals, I do community festivals, state fairs, county fairs, a lot of corporate events, Christmas parties, things like that. So if you go to YouTube and you want to watch some of those clips or even a few of the full shows that I've got up there, you can do that. All you got to do is go to YouTube and search for Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver. That's all you got to do is search for Dreamweaver. Sleep, 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 sleep. And if you want more details on this show, you can go to my website. You know, things like pricing, contact information, how to get a hold of me, things like that. That's all on my website. And it's easy enough to find. All you got to do is go to www.dreamweaverhypnosis.com. Dreamweaverhypnosis.com. Sleep, 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 sleep. Everybody sleep. So basically, I'm really easy to find on the internet, guys. Search for Dreamweaver, you'll find me. Just search for Dreamweaver. Sleep, 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 sleep. This is for everybody in the audience. You don't have to stifle your laughter. They're okay. They're okay now. And your laughter will actually help them relax even more. Oh my God. So it's okay. Just don't call them out by name. Sleep, sleep. All right, like I said, just a couple minutes ago, we are not done with our trip. Folks, we're going to go to a petting zoo. Keep your eyes closed, sit up straight in your chair, and point your finger, your index finger, out at the audience as if you're pointing at them. I want you to use your imaginations again. I want you to imagine that on that index finger is the cutest little birdie you've ever seen in your life. He is adorable. You can pet him. He's real friendly. You can pet him. Isn't he nice? He is so cute. He is adorable. And guess what, guys? If you give him a little kiss on top of the head, he'll sing for you. Give him a try. Give him a little kiss on top of the head. See? He likes you. That's awesome. That is so cool. Yeah, he's cute. Go ahead and pet him. Give him a little kiss. He likes you. That's so cool. But I want you to look at your bird now. Look at him close. He doesn't look very good, does he? He looks sick. You notice that? He looks really sick. Yep, he died. No, no, don't let him die! Don't let him die! Give him CPR! Chest compressions! Chest compressions! Blow the breath of life back into that little beak! Chest compressions! Chest compressions! Blow the breath of life back into that little beak! It's working! It's working! It's working! He's doing better! He's back! He's back up on your finger! You saved his life! You saved his life! That is so awesome, you guys! That is so cool. Go ahead and pet him. Go ahead and pet him. Go ahead and 
Good work kiss on top of the head. Oh, he still likes you. That is so nice. That is so cool. But I want you to notice something else about that bird. Now that bird is stuck to your finger. You can't get rid of him no matter what you do. You can't shake him off. Go ahead and try. You can't pull him off. Go ahead and try. See, he's stuck. You can't even step on him to get him off. Go ahead and try. That little dude is stuck tight. That's not the worst of it again. Look at your bird. Look at your bird now. Your bird's got the diarrhea. Oh, that's gross. That's gross. Yuck. Yuck. Oh, it's what a mess. Yuck. Okay, bird's gone. Bird's gone. Bird's gone. Bird's gone. Bird's gone. But you still got some of that diarrhea in your pants or wipe that off. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Everybody sleep. Sleep. This is for everybody up on stage. If at any moment in time I ask you to get out of your chairs, I want you to have your eyes open so that you can be safe. It will not affect the state of mind that you're in anymore. But anytime I ask you to get out of your chairs, I want you to have your eyes open so that you can be safe. Nod your heads if you understand. This is for the person I'm touching on the shoulder now. Only the person I'm touching right now. Every single time from here on out that I say the word applause, I want you to believe that this audience is clapping and cheering just for you. They think you're awesome. They came to see just you. You're the star. So you'll stand up with your eyes open so that you can be safe. Sleep, sleep, sleep. And you'll blow them kisses and take, them, take a bow. That's every time I say applause. Nod your head if you understand. Wonderful. Let's see how we do. Everybody give a big round of applause. Oh, they love you guys. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What's your name? Katie. Did you see what they did? Mm -hmm. Are they just here for you? Or are they here for him? Mm -hmm. They seem to like you. They're here for her. Oh. Or they're here for her. Oh. Well, you get like second place? Second place. That's all right. Have a seat, you guys. Thanks for uh, participating. Sleep. Sleep, everybody sleep. This is for everybody. I want you to realize that you have now enrolled in a cow milking contest. This is not about speed, this is about style and finesse. When you hear the music play, I want you to realize that you are going to show this audience your cow milking skills. Remember, it's not about style, or it's not about speed, it is about style and finesse. Everybody, one, two, three, eyes open. Milk that cow. Go ahead, show what you got. Milk that cow. There you go. Some of you have been practicing. But look at that cow. Look at that cow. That cow is going to be 10 feet tall. You're 10 feet tall. That is a tall cow. That thing is huge. I've never seen a cow that tall. But look at it now. Normal size cow. Still shrinking, size of a German Shepherd. That's kind of a small cow now. Still shrinking, size of a Chihuahua. How are you going to milk that stupid Chihuahua? That's ridiculous. Still shrinking, size of a hamster. How are you going to milk that? You can't milk a hamster. Forget it. That's a dumb contest. Back up in your chairs, everybody. Back up in your chairs and sleep. Everybody sleep. Deeper, 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 relaxed. Let it feel good, everybody. Let it feel good. This is for everybody up on stage. I want you to realize how appreciative I am that you came up to help me out on my show because without you, I have no show. And you guys are all doing a very good job. So I want to thank you with the virtual sports car of your dreams. This thing is fast. It's shiny. It's cool. But the best thing is, you are going to look so good in it. So go ahead, keep your eyes closed. Imagine seeing that sports car for the very first time. Go ahead, hop in, you guys. See how it feels. Get in that sports car, sit down. Life is good. Notice that that seat feels like it was custom made for your butt. Is that cool or what? Breathe deep, get that good new car smell. Oh, that is so awesome. That is so awesome.
You guys want to take it for a spin? Go ahead and start it up. Go ahead and fasten your seat belts. This is a high performance vehicle. Let's just take it around town to get a little feel for it, shall we? Tooling around town, tooling around town. Feeling good, looking even better. Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Tooling around, tooling around. Hey, everybody, look to your left. There's some of your friends way bad, and they think you're pretty cool. Nice. Tooling around town, tooling around town. There's some more of your friends to, your, to the right. Way bad, and they think you're cool. Yeah. Tooling around, tooling around. Hey, everybody, look to your left. There's that guy you can't stand. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, I'll tell you what, let's take it out in the country and see what it'll do on the straightaway, shall we? Let's go and find a good straight, flat road and kick it down. You are doing 85, 95, 105, 115, 125, and there's still room to go on that throttle. Let's slow it down. This is a 60 mile an hour road. 60 miles an hour. That sure is slow, huh? Wow, that's all right. You don't need to get a ticket. Let's take it up in the hills and see how it handles on those hills and curvy roads, shall we? Curvy gently to the left. Gently to the right. Gently to the left. Right turn, right turn, sharp right. Straight it out, straight it out. Tooling around, tooling around, gently to the right. Gently to the left. Gently to the right. Left turn, left turn, sharp left. Straight it out, straight it out. All right. Boy, does that thing handle nice, huh? That thing sure handles nice. Let's take it back into town. Let's take it back into town. Get back on that straightaway. But keep it down. 60 miles an hour, you don't want to get that ticket. And have you noticed that the new crop of self-driving cars are now available? Going back into town, 60 miles an hour. I want you to look at your rear, rear, rear view mirror and see that there's a great big old 18-wheeler coming up hard and fast behind you and he wants to pass. Let him pass, let him get the ticket, let him pass. As he goes around, he splashes in a great big mud bump and gets your car filthy, all dirty. That is horrible. Oh, I got it. But it'll wash, it'll wash. Tell you what, let's get back into town, but while you were gone, while you were gone, somebody did some road construction. Put in a speed bump. Another one, speed bump. Another one, bump, bump. All right, find your parking place. Turn it off. And everybody, sleep. Deeper, 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 relax. Let's take it for another spin. Give them a big round of applause. They still seem to think the world of you. Are you just that awesome or what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have this one go back into the audience. <laughs> Could be a little distracting. So you are just that awesome, is that right? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad they turned off for you. Sure. Have a seat. See? Katie it was, right? Mm -hmm. High five, Katie. Sleep. Deeper and deeper relaxed. <laughs> Just let it feel good. This is, for, this is for everybody up on stage. When you hear this song, I fell into a ring of fire. When you hear that song, I want you to realize that your backsides, your bottoms, your butts are on fire. You'll fan them, you'll pat them. You bounce on whatever it takes to get that fire out. Now also, if you get out of your chair to put that fire out, I want you to have your eyes open so that you can be safe and will not affect the state of mind that you're in. Nod your heads if you understand. Let's take that one first then. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Wide awake, wide awake, everybody, wide awake. Wide awake. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. What's your name? Renee? How come you're out of your chair, Renee? What? How come you're out of your chair? Oh my god. 
Your butt was on fire? Yeah. Does that happen often? No. Very well. You guys, the rest of you too, you're out there just jumping around and stuff. I'm trying to get through a show. I've only got just a little bit of time. So if you can, help me get through the show, okay? Just chillax a little bit. All right? Sleep. Everybody sleep. Let it feel good. Just to sleep. Down and the flames went higher. And it burns, burns, burns. Right away. Again? What is up? It was hot. That's weird. That's what I think. Are you having the same issues over here? Yeah, it's everywhere. Is it the chair, do you think? It might be. That's crazy. Well, hopefully we got it done with now. Everybody sleep, sleep, sleep. Deeper, deeper, deeper relaxed. This is for everybody up on stage. The next time I have you open your eyes, I want you to realize that when you look straight ahead of you, behind this audience towards the garage door, you're going to see a great big movie screen. And on that movie screen is the funniest movie you've ever seen in your life. This is for everybody up on stage. One, two, three, eyes open. You guys, check that out. Look at that. Can you believe that? That is hilarious. Those writers are geniuses. The actors are perfect. That is so funny. But you know what makes it funny? Funnier? Watch this. They're turning that screen on its side. That makes it funnier. Look at that. That is hilarious. Wow. And now even funnier, it's all the way upside down, and that makes it hilarious. But how are you going to watch that? That's ridiculous. Oh, that's crazy. Wait, 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 wait. They turned it back upside right, but they changed the channel. Now it's a sad movie. It's the saddest movie you've ever seen in your life. It's a sad movie where a little boy gets a puppy, and the little puppy wanders away from